Hey everybody, welcome back to my vlog. Um, this one's just going to be kind of some random stuff. I am practicing Lyra, practicing some pole, and I will be doing another painting. This is one of my favorite moves right here. You can probably tell because I know you've seen it before. I think it's a really pretty shape and it just looks really elegant and graceful. I included some playtime with my boys. They really enjoy playing together. They get really wild and they have a lot of fun. <laughs> Hi, pretty. <laughs> Here I am getting organized to start my next painting. Uh, of course, I am drinking matcha because I have an addiction. But I think I said in a previous video, I like to get organized before I start a new painting and clean up everything a little bit. You've all seen me do the backgrounds before and it's very straightforward and self-explanatory so I kind of skipped forward. Once I finish getting the background covered I start adding some stars and getting it ready to paint um, my tree that's going to be going over it. I added some stars by hand and then I did some with the paintbrush just flicking the paint onto the canvas. And you've seen me do the tracing paper method before. It really just helps um, with the first couple of brush strokes and taking out a lot of the anxiety because for me, it can be really hard to start putting in um, whatever you're gonna be painting on top of your background. So this just kind of helps eliminate any um, doubt and anxiety that I have about it. And you can see I'm just kind of laying out the branches, the trunk, and getting some shading going, some very basic shading. And I kind of forgot to film this here. So here's my progress. I put in the general shape for the eye. I didn't film that. And I'm not really sure why, I'm not sure what happened. I think that I thought I was filming for part of that, and as it turns out, I was not. But here I'm just kind of working on getting the actual iris, the color that I want it, and getting the shading in properly. I'm starting 
with a lot lighter color on bottom and then working my way darker. And I'm sorry it's so overexposed. My camera just didn't really want to focus on it even though it wasn't that bright so I'm not sure what was going on. I'm coming in with the darkest color and just kind of getting it uh, shaded properly. When you're painting an eye, you're gonna have a lighter on bottom and the darker on top because the eyelid is casting shadows, so that just kind of helps make it look a little bit more real. This part is filmed in real time, uh, not hyperlapse, and it's a really slow and boring process, which is why I usually do the hyperlapse, but sometimes it's nice to slow it down and actually see what someone's doing and how long it takes. It can be really easy to kind of just assume that you're, you know, someone's actually working as fast as you're seeing on whatever video that you're watching, and it really, it takes a very long time. I work very slowly, my hand shakes a lot, so I do a lot of covering up and I do a lot of cleaning of the edges and trying to get it um, fixed up. So that's something to remember. Never rush yourself when you're painting. Always take your time. Work slowly. Enjoy the process because really that's what it's about is enjoying your time and not getting stressed about it because really you can't ever mess something up so bad that you can't fix it. Maybe that's not so true with oils, but with acrylics, you really cannot mess it up to the point that you can't fix it. If it's still wet, you can erase the paint. If it's not wet, you can go over it and cover it, and there's literally no reason to stress. There is no mistakes that you can make that are not fixable, um, so keep that in mind when you're working. And now I am starting with the Wisteria flowers branches. Um, I started with my darkest color and then I'm coming in with my lighter colors and I'm using kind of a stiffer brush and just dabbing the paint into the canvas and then I do a little bit of touch up and clean up with my smaller brush and uh, I just keep working my way lighter until I was almost working with the white. I did add a few very small highlights with actual white And this is just kind of the last little bit, um, touching up, adding some more stars, and adding some highlights in the eye. Highlights in the eyes are really hard. I struggle with these. I struggle with making them look realistic. Um, and I'm really not sure what the key is. I'm not sure I'm completely happy with what I have, but yeah. It is what it is, and keep practicing if you don't like something, if you don't like how something turns out, keep working on it and you will get it eventually. And this is the finished painting. The rest of this video is really just me pole dancing, so if you want to stick around, enjoy, and if not, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can catch all my videos as they come out. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Mwah!